Good morning guys, welcome back to another video. It is currently quite early in the morning and if you can't tell by the sound of my voice, I just woke up. I just woke up like about 10 minutes ago because I am going to go to work soon. For today's video, I thought it would be fun to show you guys my skincare routine on a work day. I do have a few skincare videos on this channel already where I share with you guys a bunch of my favorite products. I love skincare, I'm a bit of a skincare junkie so I always love to try out new products but I definitely have holy grail items that I've been using for years and um, that I use pretty much every day. So today is going to be about showing you guys what I'm using on my skin today. So it's not going to be every product in my arsenal, just like literally what a day in my skincare looks like on the days where I go to work. If you want to check out another one of my skincare videos where I go more in depth and show you more products that I love, um, I will leave that somewhere up here for you. Let's get started. All I've done today is literally wash my face. I'm also not in my bathroom because the lighting in my bathroom is pretty bad so I'm just sitting in front of a window where you can see me better. So the first thing I'm going to do is just spray some of the Eau de Rose de Mai from Chantecai just to get a little bit of hydration back in my face. This is pure rose water and um, it just feels and smells nice. Then I'm gonna go in with one of my cotton rounds and my Bioderma. So this is one of those products that I use every single day without fail and I don't, I couldn't even tell you how many of these I've been through and this is like the massive, I think this is the biggest size you can get. If you don't know, which I feel like everyone probably does, Bioderma is a micellar water. It's really just a way to give yourself a nice light cleanse, get off your makeup, up, decongest the skin, all that good stuff. I used to actually cleanse my face in the morning. So I would do a cleanse in the morning and a cleanse at night. But I stopped doing that because I, I didn't want to overwork my skin. I don't know, it just felt like a little bit too much. And I do still cleanse in the morning sometimes when I feel like my skin really needs it. Um, you know, maybe I've worked a lot that week, cut on a lot of makeup, and my skin's really starting to like feel the effects of that. But for now, it's just Bioderma. And then for my toner in the morning, I use just like a witch hazel. I've recently learned that witch hazel is like quite a controversial skincare ingredient, but it works for me. I actually normally make my own little toner concoction of witch hazel and a few drops of tea tree oil, but I'm out of tea tree oil right tea tree oil right now. So um, I'm just using witch hazel. And then I go in with a vitamin C serum. This is a beauty counter counter plus all bright C serum. It looks like this, and I just do like a pump and a bit, about that much. I rub it in my hands a bit and then just press it into my face. Vitamin C is one of those things I didn't start using until after I started getting facials. I on my first facial last year and as I was getting my facial they asked me what my skincare routine was like, what vitamin C serum I used and I was like what serum? <laughs> after that I incorporated a vitamin C serum into my routine. Before this I used the Drunk Elephant vitamin C serum which was great and I polished off that bottle and now I'm trying this one and I like this one as well. Then I use an eye cream and the one I'm trying out right now is the Burst Vacationize Brightening Eye Gel. This eye cream is really interesting because it literally is like a gel. So I just put it on my ring finger and it looks like this. Like it's literally like a completely clear gel and I've never used an eye cream like this before. So that's kind of fun. I just tap it. And then lastly, I'm gonna do my moisturizer. I have my amazing Cetaphil. This is what I like to use in the morning. And this is just the Cetaphil moisturizing lotion. And then my sunscreen I'm using right now is the Beauty Counter Counter Sun Daily Sheer Defense for Face SPF 25. I also really like like, do I have it in front of me? Oh yes, the Cetaphil and the CeraVe. This one is 30 SPF and this one is 15. Um, so those are both great and you can get these at the drugstore too, but um, I'm just trying out this one right now and it's 25, which is a nice like in between, even though it's literally been raining for the past few days in LA, but you still have to wear your sunscreen. So I take a little bit of the Cetaphil and then I do about like a pump of the sunscreen and then I mix those together and just work them into my face. All in. Yeah, don't forget your neck. There we go, nice and shiny. This is how I show up to work, like a disco ball. A little bit of chapstick too. I'm just gonna use my GlossierBomb.com. This is in the chair. Yeah, cherry. This just feels nice on your lips. So that is what my face looks like. So then the last thing I'm gonna do is put on some spot treatments for my blemishes. I normally go into hair first when I get to set, so I can have those on pretty much up until the time I like start putting my foundation on, and it'll just help to like reduce some of the swelling and make them a little 
less 3D, if you know what I mean. I like to use the Skin Iceland ones. They come in a pack like this. Actually, you, can't really, you can kind of see. So I've used about half the pack. You can see them. There's about six in there. And I just take them off with tweezers. Let me use a mirror to put these on. It's nice because they're not super visible. I mean, obviously when you're in the light, they are more reflective. But these are great to like just wear in life as well if you want to address a blemish. I have definitely left the house wearing these because I find they're a lot more invisible than a lot of other blemish patches that I've used before. So that is what I do in the morning before I head to work and I will see you guys after work to show you my after work skin routine. Okay, see you later, bye. Hello. I feel like I should apologize at this point in the video because I feel like all of this vlog is just gonna be me super tired because when you first saw me it was super early in the morning and it is now um, just before 1 a.m. and I just finished work. So I came in at 9, I finished at 1. As you can see I still have my makeup on, got my wig taken off, very long day but it's always a good time on set. However, I am definitely exhausted so I'm gonna try to speed through this skincare stuff. So this is what I do at the end of my day while I'm still on set. I like to get my makeup off as quickly as possible and then I do the rest of my skincare at home. Yeah, this is like, I guess, part two of my uh, work day skincare routine. <laughs> so I feel like, oh, I've shown this box to you guys in many a vlog already. Um, so the first thing I like to use is, once again, Skin Iceland. This time it is the makeup wipes. And I've mentioned this before, I'm not a huge makeup wipe person, but when you have this much makeup on, like I've literally been in makeup for over 12 hours, you just need a good wipe to like help you get the first chunk off before you go in with your micellar water and your cleanser and all that jazz. So I get out my cloth. Just gonna go in and rub all this stuff off my face. <laughs> Here we go. This is actually, it doesn't even look like that much on camera, but it's a lot. So I've taken off the first layer. You can see I still have my lashes on. So for that, I like to take one of my little cotton rounds and this is my Bioderma. It's just in like another container. Bioderma on my cotton swab. And then I use this Talika, most of this is in French, but it's essentially a lash conditioner. So it helps to remove your lashes because obviously they're glued on and pulling them off isn't like the best move for your lashes. And this also helps to get off any like residual eye makeup. So get my cotton pad, we'll look in something like this. And then I just literally hold it over my eye and like gently kind of rub at the base of my lashes to help get all those falsies off. And then usually it all like kind of comes off in one go, just like that. I'm gonna do the other one too. Movie magic folks. Maybe it's her, maybe it's Maybelline, maybe it's a set of false eyelashes, who knows. And then I'm gonna take a new cotton pad, put some more bioderma on and just go all over my face to get off any residual makeup, eye makeup, just general, just general gunkiness. <laughs> Bioderma done. I'm gonna give myself another little sanitize here. And then my last step before I head home is moisturizer. And the one I'm using right now is the Drunk Elephant Whipped Lala Retro Whipped Cream. So it looks like this. Super cute pink packaging and it's got this fun pump that you press and the cream comes out and it is super thick and lovely so I'm just gonna pat that into my skin. I am gonna get home and like shower right away and wash this off but my skin is so dry that if I just take all that makeup off and don't put anything hydrating on it it's just gonna feel like it's just not gonna feel great you know. So that is it for post work now I'm gonna head home and finish off the rest of my routine after I take a nice long hot shower because let me tell you we have been shooting essentially outside all day. It's been cold it's like seven degrees in LA, raining all day, which is just weather in general here is very unusual. Anything other than sunny and warm is like super jarring. Just, you know, when like your bones are cold, I'm gonna take a nice long hot shower, I'm gonna defrost and then show you the rest of my routine. And now we're right back where we started. Number one, apologies for the lighting. I tried to use my, um, 
Guys, it's 2 a.m. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Selfie light, little like uh, portable, detachable, you understand, ring light, my ring light. I tried to use my ring light, but it just made the color really blue. So I figured this awkward overhead lighting would be better. So here we are. I tricked you guys, I haven't showered yet. I know I said I would come back after I showered, but there's one more step that I incorporated relatively recently, which is why I forgot about it until this moment uh, that I wanna share with you because it's something that I do after days like this when I've been wearing a lot of makeup on my face. So for my own personal day-to-day -day makeup, and by day-to-day -day I mean like on the days where I've chosen to leave my house and apply some sort of makeup to my face. Pretty much anytime I do my own makeup, I actually don't wear foundation. I'll just uh, use concealer under my eyes and on any blemishes. So anytime I have foundation on for work or an event or whatever it may be, I'm like really, really diligent in making sure it's completely removed at the end of the day. Um, this is a new product. It's another Shantikai product, and this is the, the Rose de Mai Cleansing Balm. It looks like this. They've always got the most beautiful packaging. I've actually never used a cleansing balm before. This is my first one. It looks like this. It sort of has the consistency of like a nice thick moisturizer. You can see I've uh, used quite a bit. And they're pretty much just like another type of cleanser in like a lotiony form. One way to use a cleansing balm like this is to apply it to your face, work it in for about a minute, and then remove it with a hot cloth. I apply it to my face, work it in, and then just remove it in the shower because that's just easier for me. I have done the hot cloth way before as well, and it's really nice. On days like this where I've been at work all day and it's essentially the middle of the night, uh, I just can't be bothered. So I go in and I just kind of dot it <laughs> like this and then I work it in the same way I would with a cleanser. I also feel like products like this that you massage into your skin are also just really great for like stimulating blood circulation and giving your face a nice massage, keeping your skin elastic and supple. It just feels really nice and also this stuff smells so good. I have a few products from the Rose de Mai collection including that like rose water I used this morning but it just all smells so amazing. So now that I have worked that into my skin I'm gonna hop into the shower and take it all off. Okay guys it is post shower and we're in bad lighting once again. Just did another spray with the rose water, mostly just because this stuff smells amazing and feels amazing. So there's really no reason you shouldn't be using it a hundred times a day. Oh, before I continue on with my face, I figured I would show you guys what I use on my body after I shower, because that's that's also your skin. Your skin's not just on your face, it's all over. And you gotta care for every part of it. So on my body, the combo I'm loving right now, this just makes my skin feel like so yummy and moisturized and amazing is, of course, Cetaphil and this which is the Oshea uh, Malibu I don't want to butcher this name Undaria Algae Body Oil I think is how you say it it looks like this as you can tell uh, very well loved yeah this stuff after the shower just leaves you like glowing hydrated smells good this was actually recommended to me by Monet it was an amazing recommendation so thank you so that goes all over the body and this is something I have been absolutely loving for my chest and back if you suffer from any kind of like blemishes or scarring on like just like this general area, shoulders, chest, back. This stuff helped to lighten my scarring, reduce blemishes. Like it really is, it really is like an amazing product. Uh, I've been using it now for... I don't even know how long, like probably, I wanna say like three or four months and I've seen a significant difference. So it's the Clear Skin Clarifying Back and Body Spray from Urban Skin and it's got 10% glycolic acid, salicylic acid and willow bark. I personally love glycolic acid. I've talked about this in my other skincare routines. It's an acid that works really well for me. So I always find ways to incorporate it into my skincare, but looks like this, I love it. Just do some spritzes like on my chest, back, shoulders when I'm out of the shower. It dries, you're done, skin looks amazing. That is the body skincare. Now let's finish off the face so I can finally go to bed. Also, before I forget, in the shower today I used, oh, which one is it? There we go. My Neostrata Glycolic Cleanser. Like I said, love glycolic acid. I have about three different cleansers on the go that I sort of alternate between, and this is the one I have opted to use today. I really like it. I've repurchased it a few times now. Neostrata, love this one. So the next two products I'm gonna use are these, which unfortunately I don't know the names of because my makeup artist Mandy made these for me and put them in these like containers and just labeled them, but the name is not on here, so... 
history. But I will shoot her a text and hopefully she can tell me the names and then I can include them here for you guys. I start with the toner, put some on my cotton pad and then just rub it in. This stuff does smell a little funky, but it does a good job. So we'll forgive the smell. Don't forget your neck. And then once I'm done with that toner, I go in with this toner, which helps to address like hyperpigmentation and scarring, dark spots, all of that. So I throw that on the cotton pad and also apply it all over my face. This combo has definitely also made a huge difference in my skin. A lot of people with darker skin tones tend to suffer from acne scarring, scarring that you get from like essentially any pimple on your face. <laughs> Sometimes when I even just get a pimple, it'll leave a dark spot when it goes away. So, so products like this just really help to even my skin tone which we love and then i'm gonna go in with the bliss clear genius clarifying toner and serum i really like this stuff i haven't really used many bliss products i think this is maybe the only thing i've ever used from them but i really really like it it's got a little pump applicator so i usually just do one pump and then put it all over my skin like this and then gently just pat it in. This stuff has such a light texture, it literally feels like I'm putting water on my face. So it's a combo of BHA, witch hazel, niacinamide, zinc, PCA, and CISA, or CISA, C-I-C-A, CISA? Anyway, all incredible things, niacinamide especially. Learn that one from Skincare by Hiram. Thanks, Hiram. So now that we have all of our serums on our face, we're gonna go in with our hydrators. I'm gonna start with our eye cream. This one is just from Beauty Counter. It is the Counter Match Eye Rescue Cream. I've been through like literally three or four of these. I love this eye cream. I just do one pump on my ring finger, tap, 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 then just tap it around. Guys, we're almost done. I can almost go to bed. <laughs> And then in terms of lotions, it really just depends on the mood I'm in. And today, you know what? Let's keep to the drunk elephant theme. Also, because I'm absolutely obsessed with this particular drunk elephant lotion. This is the Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. It looks like this. So it's also got that same fun pump. And you know what? Just for fun, let's throw in a couple drops of the um, Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil, also from Drunk Elephant. Just gonna do a couple drops, give it a little mix in my hands, and again, just pat that all in. Do you guys pat your lotion in or do you like rub it in? What do you do? I feel like I'm constantly hearing conflicting instructions on how you're supposed to do it. So I also decided I'm gonna ice my face a little bit because I have this blemish coming in here so literally just took a piece of ice from my freezer and i'm just going directly onto the spot i find this really helps when i have like a raised spot to sort of help reduce some of the swelling before i apply a night treatment and then i'm going to use my mario budescu drying lotion which i'm sure you guys have heard of a thousand times um so i just go in with a q-tip straight down get some of that good pink stuff and then i just literally apply it to any blemishes I may have. How do I look? A nice thing with the drying lotion is that you can literally put it on and then it works while you sleep, which is great. I almost forgot one more thing. Lips. I'm gonna use the Urban Skin Hydrating Lip Treatment. This stuff feels so good on your lips. It's like super lovely and thick. And I feel like a lot of chapsticks you'll put on and then five minutes later, you're like, where did it go? But not this, this stuff is amazing. And that is it, you guys. That is my full skincare on a work day routine. If you want to see any more skincare videos where I go into a little bit more detail about the products and why I love them, I will leave the videos somewhere on the screen for you. I really wanted to do this video to show you guys a realistic look into my skincare and what I'm using right now. Like I said, I absolutely love skincare, so I'm always excited to try new things, but there are definitely holy grail staples in my routine that I don't think will ever leave, but this was a little time capsule in my skincare journey. But I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. I I am so, so ready for bed. Uh, I'm not even gonna tell you what time it is because it is absolutely shocking. <clears throat> I will definitely be sleeping in tomorrow. And on that note, take care of yourself, take care of your skin, and I will see you on the next video.